Welcome to the show that puts the spotlight on African innovators and inventors, R&D Africa. In this episode, we are showcasing an innovation by an engineer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology called the K-Switch. The K-Switch device has the ability to control light among other electrical appliances. Join me, Mamiyo Kwa Utwa Kwa Nyame, on this show as I unravel how engineer John Kusi uses his device to control some street light on the university campus, among other electrical appliances. Don't go anywhere. I'm engineer John Kusi. I'm a senior laboratory instructor at Kenya University. I'm also an Enfield student doing power systems engineering at electrical engineering department. Forgetting to turn off your lights and other electrical gadgets could potentially start an electric fire. Many have lost their lives and properties to fire outbreaks that could be prevented if only they had other means of controlling their gadgets without actually being present. Inventors all over the world have developed apps that enables one to regulate light and other electrical gadgets using internet data. Yet, even with the existence of such technology, there are still many who do not have access to smartphones and others who are unable to afford the cost of data. If you find yourself in such a situation, how will such technology be of use to you, even though it is useful? Interestingly, an engineer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has built a device that enables users to control and regulate the electrical gadgets such as light, fan, microwave, kettle, refrigerators, and many others using SMS. The device is called the KNUST Switch or the K-Switch device. K-Switch device, which is the KNUST Switch device, is an SMS remote controlled switching device that enables the user or individuals to be able to control their electrical appliances, being light, fridges, fans, with SMS, text messages from their phones. It doesn't matter where you are by just sending SMS to it. What motivated me to build K-Switch device is based on two things or two factors as I perceive it. One, during my undergrad, I was working and at the same time schooling. So based on that, it found it difficult and become very tired. So sometimes you get to the house and your head will call you. HOD will call and say that you left your office lights on. Your office air conditioning, AC is on. So I have to drive back to campus and turn them off. So I begin to think about if there is a way you can quickly use phones to control these things remotely without necessarily working to search places. Another factor is also when I get to the house, sometimes in the night, around 7.30 to 8, there's an old lady just live nearby. You hear her shouting, Monsoor light, no, Monsoor light, no. I realized that then that means that an aged people are also unable to walk to these manual switches that will control them. So I began to think about it. That is why I thought of it in my undergrad projects to use it. And so I came out with a way and I researched and others were using data, but I decided to come out with a different system like SMS, text message, so that that, that can be easier for me at that time. Over the years, SMS has proven to be cheaper compared to data. With SMS, you do not necessarily need a smartphone or data. People tend to have a lot of SMS on their phones, but with very little use for it. These are the reasons the inventor considered before settling on using SMS. Using SMS instead of data was one of the key areas I considered carefully. I'm using MTN, SIMS and other things. Sometimes I get free text messages free. They, in your birthdays, they send you free text messages. Sometimes you do mashup, you get free SMS. So this SMS was always on my phone. And because of WhatsApp, we are not using it. So they are always there. So I realized that, oh, if I can come out the way to use this SMS, which is more free at that time to me. And also I checked bundling SMS and it was much, much cheaper than data. So, and if I can come out with such things like that, then um, that would be easier and cheaper for me to operate my system. That is why I came out with SMS or text messages instead of the usual ones people. 
see, I think you can take us through the uh, major processes of building the case fish devices briefly. Okay, thank you very much. Um, since the circuit board has already been developed. Okay, which so, I want clarity, was it developed by you? Yes, okay. by myself. Okay. So it means that assembling it is easier now. You get your components, for instance, I have the board, I have the microprocessor seats. Okay. So it's installed just here, you insert it this, uh, this way. Okay. Then you bring in other components. So the same way I've done for this one, we are going to use it to demonstrate. Okay. You see that I've connected the micro the microprocessor to the microprocessor seats. Mm -hmm. This is a GSM control. Okay. We have other controls and use other system that gives you access to use USB. Okay. to power the system okay. so basically this is how it is done okay. so we have your gsm okay. and then we have your microcontroller okay. and there is a sim that is inserted to this side okay so that and if the user want to use it you register your own sim mm -hmm. and insert it and you save that okay. number okay. so it can be communicating with that number in okay. controlling your okay. device so regarding the <laughs> sim card uh, is it that you will need a specific service provider to give you the sim card or any other sim card is okay good any other sim card is okay for instance this one let me show it to you see that this one is just normal mtn sim okay okay yeah. so any service provider any sim card is okay so it's just you register one that we insert it into the device for you before we do the full installation. Okay. Then you save the number. Okay. So once the number is saved, that is the number that number that you are going to communicate, communicate with, it with by sending test message to it. Okay. Okay. So uh, definitely this is I mean a device like this is sort mm. of common on the market, except that most of these ones uses data. So mm. I want you to run me through the innovative features your device presents. Uh, compared to what is already in the market. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Yes, basically, they use data, but you see that this one is just a normal SMS. Yeah. So one, it does not require you to put in data on the system. Yeah. Because if you are two, two systems are using data, one, every, all of them must be online. Mm -hmm. So it does not require you that. Another thing is the wide usage of SMS. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you are even in USA, you can just pick your phone and just send an SMS to the system. And another thing is that this also is not sophisticated. It doesn't require bigger app. It's just normal text message on your phone. Mm -hmm. So even if your phone is not an Android, it's just normal, yeah. Quickly, you can easily use it. It's just a text message. Mm -hmm. Like you are sending text message to a friend. Mm -hmm. So it, its usage is very easy. Okay. And installation is very easy and it's cheaper. Okay. And it has wide remote control. You don't have to be closer to the system mm -hmm. to control it mm -hmm. and you don't have to have data to control it okay. and don't have to have big uh, wider distance or something so okay. that makes it more effective and more and um, better than the ones i thought were existing in places like this like africa like ghana where else where we don't have all the uh the facilities that will easily trigger like a fire alarm and all that everybody ho holds a phone here so i think getting this uh, device into our system will be very helpful. Let me put it another way. Back in the States, um, when, when your alarm goes up, right, it triggers the fire department. It triggers the, um, the police department. So for all you know, the police, the police guys will be in your house, even the, uh, you know about it because something triggered in the, uh, in the system. So, we have to start with um, some kind of baby steps. So this, this device being developed, I think will help us. But it needs a lot more of uh, communication. It needs more letting people understand what it does. It's not just punching numbers on your phone. They need to understand the, the, the media part should be there. And the, uh, the education will be, should be there to, for people to understand it. The case switch itself, like I said, is not just an app, but it's just the switch mm -hmm. device. Yeah. Good. And another thing is, um, you don't, you don't, you can use one to control multiple things at the same time, mm -hmm. or individually, mm -hmm. and you can also decide to assign individual things to one switch okay. based on the user's preferences or, okay. or ability to use them. Okay. Because if you are using it for all of these lights. 
and you want to we just want to control each of these like individually okay. that means we have to assign some name mm -hmm. so like they become like your children yeah so you okay. have to name them the coffee yeah okay. so maybe bedroom okay. light okay. kitchen light okay. toilet light so that okay. when you want to talk to it it will know that okay. you are referring to the bedroom light okay. so that is if you want to assign uh, each case switch device to a particular device yes control them uh, control only one unique device mm -hmm. Else, you can decide that maybe all my outside lights are one outside light. Mm -hmm. So you just give one switch to it and just call it outside light. Okay. Okay. So anytime you are talking to you, know that you are talking to your outside light. Okay. I'm fortunate to know about the case switch. I've known how it works and it's a very good project. Even though it's not yet out there, it hasn't been commercialized. It's still on the pilot stages. But if it's commercialized, it's going to help um, the nation, communities, to save energy because sometimes street lights are left on even in during the middays and it's wasting electrical energy. So if you are able to regulate that with just an SMS text, no matter where you find yourself, that's great. Also, leaving appliances on and, and not even knowing they are on causes fire outbreaks and other unforeseen accidents. So it's also going to help to curb that as well. How about wanting to integrate all other electronic devices into one case switch app? How do you manage it? If you want to, that is when it requires the usage of the app. Okay. The app too is not data. It sends series of codes as test messages. Okay. And it, because you have a lot of things that is being used, it will be difficult to keep such names in your mind. Okay. So the app comes in to help you. Okay. So that you install that. So you install the app, then you save it individually. Mm -hmm. Then when you are talking to the system, the app knows that if I send this code to it, maybe your fridge will come on. Mm -hmm. If I send this code, your AC will come on. Okay. But all that you see on your phone screen, you'll be seeing fridge, bedroom fridge, kitchen fridge, that, that, so that that can help you to control them. Okay, okay so do, do you have the app? Yes, we are working on it. I don't think I've seen anything using SMS. Uh, back back in the States, uh, everything is connected. In, but you even have to pay for that, right? You have to pay for that. Um, I'm there alone with my wife. My, all my kids are gone. So <laughs> if there's anything in the house, even though I'm here, I'll get it on my phone. Anything that goes on my house, I can get it. But here, we, we all have the, everybody has a cell phone, and we all know how to do the SMS and all that. So I think this is a very good way of letting people know, that, okay, we are trying to stop all the unnecessary fire breakouts and so on. And you can do that easily with, with the SMEs. So I think it's good. So you select the device you want to, okay. like the normal messages. Okay. So here I've named my, the SIM inside. Okay. I've named the engineering lab street lights. Okay. So you come here, you open it. Then you send the code to it. Okay. Yes, two, two, two. Okay, so that's like the standard code for turning on the, the light uh, or any other device using the device. Yes, okay. was well, based on the research. Whereas I respond to numbers than tests. Okay, that's why I'm not saying on off. So I'm using the code two two two. But when I'm working with it, you have to enable delivered delivery report in your message in your message okay. so that it doesn't matter. So that this is delivered. delivered. So that it doesn't matter wherever you are. Once it's delivered, you know that the system has received it. And it's supposed to say that the lights are on. Okay, so that it took like mm. a few seconds. Yes. Once it was delivered. Yes. Okay, this is good. This yeah. is good. But then you, you said the code is 222 for okay. turning on the device. Yeah. Is it that that's a standard code or it can be changed once you purchase the device? Yes, it can be changed. The only thing that I realized is that during my research, I realized that my, the system that I was building respond better to numbers than words. Okay, let's talk about the brain. All right. So that we said it's just a normal test message. Mm -hmm. So based on that, you only have to save the number plus two three three, so that you know the device is located in Ghana. Good. So once you do that, then you can control it from everywhere. Okay. So you just send a message to it and to respond. So okay. distance is not a barrier. Okay. Even if you have traveled, you can still control them. Okay. 
And I'm really excited that this device uses SMS. Because comparing SMS to this, I think SMS is the best, cheap and reliable too. Sometimes you might have the data on your phone, but due to some restrictions in some areas, sending messages will be difficult for you. But with the SMS, you can just send it anywhere. So far, Engineer Kusi has won a number of awards with his invention. He won the most innovative student in 2019 and in 2022 at the KNUST Innovative Exhibition. The device is currently not on the market, however, when commercialized, citizens would benefit greatly from it. The K-Switch device will not only offer luxury to its users, it has the tendency of reducing the rate at which fire outbreaks occurs. Electrical devices causes fire outbreaks through electrical gadgets like electric ions, electric cookers, bulbs, and stoves. It causes so many fires, averagely about 60 and half percent are electric fires that we, we, we do record on um, domestic fires. The device being developed by the KNUST engineer is a very good initiative. It will help the system. Being the fire service, the occupants of the building or users of the electric ga gadgets, it's a very good thing to, to have happened to our country because these electric fires will tend to come drastically down because these devices will tend to switch them off whilst you are away. So it's a very good initiative. It will help the system very well, being the fire service, the government, and then the, the masses. The engineer's greatest achievement with his invention is being able to control some street lights within the KNUST campus with his vice. In terms of collaborations, he has engaged some individuals and institutions for possible collaborations and partnerships. Apart from KNUST, I have also engaged other individuals, educational institutions like this I have not yet engaged. Even though during the exhibition, I got that opportunity to talk to secondary schools, SHS, and that heads that were able to present themselves in the exhibitions for them to see the variety of using this in controlling the dormitory lights. It was one of the main key presentation I made during my presentation to Ghana Institution of Engineers when we went to Sunyane. So it's, I've, I've also shared the ideas with some of the key people in the Ghana Institute of Engineers, and I'm currently trying to get them to know what I've been doing with it so that they can also assist me in that. In the inventor's quest to build in his device, he sought assistance from two of his colleagues who were then students of KNUST. Two colleagues assisted me. We all worked together on it, and we came out with an SMS product that we are able to use to control things like that. And we finished our projects, and I think we got a good marks on that, and the professors were very impressed with the work. And from then, that is where I decided to take it up. And I discussed with them, and they gave me the chance that since my, it's my original idea, I should research more into it and take it up. Engineer Kufi is a graduate of the Sunyani Technical University. He obtained his first degree in KNUST and is currently pursuing his second degree at the same institution. Yes. It's where we end it and wrap it up with Engineer John Kusi inside KNUST campus. And I hope you had an amazing time. Now, if you're an innovator or an inventor out there who is looking at showcasing what you have done, do not hesitate to contact AAU TV. My name is Mamiokwa Utuakwanyame. And until next time, this is where we end.